Hey Turtle Nerds, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're doing something kind of different. For once in my friggin' life, I'm going out and catching wild Diamondback Terrapins, not to keep. This is all under permits for a study, for a survey that's been going on for 38 years, I believe. I'm going down to Kiowa Island, which is like two and a half, three hours from me. And we're gonna be taking these big old seine nets and pulling them into these tidal creeks, catching turtles, taking biometrics, length, uh, weight, notching them so that way we can identify previously caught and future animals, and just generally helping out in this study. So this is just gonna be a quick, fun kind of video showing you where terrapins naturally come from because this I mean as much as I love my pond it's not entirely as natural as I would like it specifically because this is fresh water and they live in intertidal brackish water zones I thought this would be a really good opportunity for you guys to see what their natural habitat is like and for me to go have some fun catching turtles I have not reviewed the footage at all I have no idea what you guys are in for but it was a blast and I'd do it again in a heartbeat all right, folks, so I decided that narrating part of this video would probably be a good idea for some context. So here we're taking a boat just like, I don't know, a couple hundred feet out onto a sandbar because as we'll see shortly, the sandbar basically created like a creek and it split the like massive channel into two. So here you can see where there's that little creek that we were going to take the nets. After the first pull of the nets, here are some of the terrapins that we caught. Uh, I couldn't really film whilst... Uh, uh, you know, in the water swimming with a giant seine net. So it, it kind of was all hands on deck. So I figured I would just film afterwards. And here are some of the terrapins. And my buddy Parker Gibbons, um, his grandfather's the one who started this study. Uh, so that was really cool. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm getting stuck in the water. Oh my God. It's, it's the muddy, but the mud is what keeps them alive. When it's cold, there's a head. There's a head. Oh, that's a nice white one. So here the audio got muffled, but this is just me talking about how fun it is swimming uh, in the muddy creek. I think that's what I'm saying. But anyway, the visibility in the water I want to show you guys is like absolutely zero, like nothing at all. So we would just see terrapin heads pop up and like start freaking out, but you can't go after them. That's why we have these big old seine nets is because we can't hand catch them. It would be awesome to. But all you see are little heads pop up, but that water visibility is next to nothing. So on the next round of terrapins that we caught, there was this young subadult female, and here I knowledge this lady on how to tell apart a male from a female. Or how to tell their female. Yeah, how to tell their female. Um, okay, so females are gonna have a bigger head and just be generally bigger. But all, number one thing is that tail. That tail is little. And then here we just we had some uh, some interesting fish that were caught in the nets. Here are some puffer fish. Um, I don't know. I just decided to stick the GoPro in and check out the little puffers because they were cute little nuggets. And then this is Parker. He was releasing some of the puffer fish. Some of the what was it? A choker? I think he calls it. I don't know my fish. I know my turtles though. Uh, so this was just us releasing some of the fish and me getting very high quality underwater footage in zero inch visibility. Um, it clearly did not work well, but it was fun to see the puffer fish and then while releasing them, they blew up, but they were fine. They are just being dramatic. So then that's everyone going up into the creek. They walked about a mile with the net and caught nothing. Um, but then here are some of the terrapins that um, we caught. Most of them were male. There's one big female there and a subadult female. But most of them in these shallow water creeks are going to be male. And that's because most of the time the females prefer the deeper water. And so now here we can see the biometrics being done. We're taking the basic like length of the terrapins. There's a bunch being worked up. They're getting notched. They're getting marked. And here was just one of the prettiest ones that I found. Uh, this was a little male and I thought he looked good. So that was all the footage that I have. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, learned a little something about where terrapins come from, my favorite species of turtle. And uh, make sure that you guys, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button because as you can see, we have some, uh, some fun plans going on. Anyway, thanks again for watching. See y'all in the next one.